when did you get your first cartoon into private eye uh, i was actually 16 years old it was my cartoon of the houses of parliament in grenfell style cladding under the heading things that won't happen that's pretty mature um i mean n not to say a really good joke which i wish i'd thought of um okay. <laughs> at that point okay you're 16 which is pretty pretty un unforgivable but um You'd also been drawing a strip in the Beano, is that right? Yeah, um, for four years, I had a monthly comic strip featuring my character, Skanky Pigeon. Um, but actually, I started getting scripts rejected because they were too old for the Beano audience. So <laughs> I, knew that, I knew that I had to move on and private eye seemed like the logical next step for me. What, what that we were even less demanding than the Beano? Just, uh, the just a bit older, the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, that's one in the eye for everyone who says Private Eye is just a comic, uh, that we recruited our, our, our newest cartoonists from the Beano. That's fantastic. Um, so um, what, what were you aware of? How did you think of the magazine um, when you first approached it? Well, I'd, I'd seen a comic already. I'd seen, not a comic, sorry, the magazine. <laughs> so I used to comics. But um, I'd seen the Woman Has Baby cover, you know, from when Prince George was born. And that made me laugh back in like 2013 when it came out. And um, yeah, I just saw it, it made me laugh and I bought a copy. But I've been seeing you on Have I Got News For You since I was a kid. And that sort of made me what, realize what was funny about politics. And I'm a massive fan of Peter Cook as well. So I was aware of the magazine through that as well. Gosh, that's, that's a sort of intergenerational um, advice. Yeah. Is that old YouTube stuff? Well, basically what happened was uh, my dad downloaded some Derek and Clive on my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was hooked on it ever since then. But yeah, you, uh, searching through YouTube, finding comedy clips and things. I'm a bit obsessed. Um, no, that's terrific. So what year were you born? 2000. 2000. Thank you to Zoom there, who will be doing another interview on the 120th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs>